Minister of State for Civil Aviation Jayan Sena has proposed to bring aviation turbine fuel under the ambit of the GST. The final call, however, would be taken by the GST Council. Well, the Minister of State for Civil Aviation has uh, met Finance Minister Arun Jaitley and has proposed that aviation turbine fuel be brought under the GST to help the industry. Now, remember, this is uh, critical, keeping in view the fact that several of the airlines are cash-strapped at the moment. Bringing the ATF under the GST ambit will provide a relief to those airline players who are currently facing financial woes. The final call, of course, uh, will be taken by the GST Council. The issue is likely to be taken up at the Council's 31st meeting in November. With jet fuel prices uh, having been increased about 40% in the last one year, uh, and all this because of a combination of taxes by the central and state government has made it extremely expensive. My colleague Hina Gambi joining us uh, on the phone line. So Hina, uh, we are talking about how the ATF has gone up year on year because of the excise duties and several other sales tax and VAT that, that has been imposed both by the centre and the state. Now I believe Jayan Sinha is batting for ATF to be brought under GST. Can you tell us more uh, about what exactly are the arguments made by, this, by the minister? Well, we are being told that yesterday, Minister of State for Civil Aviation, Jayan Sinha, had a meeting with Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, and he went with the proposal that uh, ATF, which is Aviation Turbine Fuel, uh, should be brought under the ambit of GST because the kind of fluctuations that we are seeing in the global uh, crude oil market and the uh, way rupees depreciating, it's having a significant impact on the financial situation of uh, airlines in India. And you know that how Air India and Jet Airways are in a major financial mess. So uh, to help the aviation sector, this is the proposal that Minister of State for Civil Aviation has made to the Finance Minister. Of course, the final decision will be taken up by the GST Council only on this uh, entire matter. And also, you would recall how recently to arrest the uh, uh, you know continuous fall of rupee, the government had also also introduced import duty on jet fuel, uh, which, which okay. used to be zero earlier. That was increased to 5%. So that's adding to the pressure that these companies are facing. And that's the reason why this proposal has been made. Let's see how the Finance Ministry and the GST Council now respond to this request. Right. So Jayan Sinha has a huge responsibility on his shoulders to salvage the situation. Uh, uh, Hina, as you are reporting there, there are several issues on the cards. Let's hope something is worked out to save the cash-trapped airlines like Jet and Air India. Thanks for joining us.